And in the, in the fourth quarter, uh, how are you feeling compared to the other three? And was it just a matter of getting a couple shots to fall early that snowballed for you? Um, I, don't, I wouldn't even say that. I would just say, like, what I do in the first and third quarter, it doesn't even matter to me. Like, in the fourth quarter, I feel like I got a switch that turns on. And it's just like I'm finna try to make every shot that I take. So I think that's pretty much what happened. How did you strike that balance of, of driving versus taking? some of those threes that you did uh, was just a matter of the space they were giving you uh yeah actually like the team as in like my brothers we they did a great job of cutting the slot like so they gave me space to operate in the iso situation instead of like holding the slot so i feel like that helped me a lot is that is that different from past games or is that something that you guys have you kind of just started doing now or, or i mean this was the first game actually like where they was they gave me space like to to work in isolation here Rebounding for you guys uh, was was pretty bad in the first half. But what were the big changes that you made in the second half? Um, I mean, we just took it upon ourselves to try to rebound better. I mean, they had some really big guys out there. Uh, Cat was down there fighting, and the rebounds was going long. So it's like the guards running in to go get the rebounds, and they popping out over our heads. So, I mean, it wasn't too much we could do, but we just started to fan out more and get rebounds. Yeah. And when you when you make a big play, like you know, you, you break the guy down on a dribble and get to the rim or something like that. I mean, is, is there a little extra pep in your step going forward off of that? Do you get energy from yourself in, in some of those situations? I mean, yeah, I mean, I feel like everybody do, but as far as like me just playing basketball, I got energy all the time. Like I'm trying to win. Like no matter if I make the shot or cat make it or Delo make it, like I'm trying to win. So whatever I can do in this moment right now to if I gotta get a stop cause a turnover or get a deflation like whatever I got to do to try to win a game that's what I'm trying to do when we talked to you after the Clipper game a lot of the focus was on consistency now stack it up like how do you guys do that and what's on your mindset going into tomorrow night after just one win here uh tonight is out the window um like the game we just had is out the window we got to focus now like whatever we did like Pat said whatever y'all did on the back-to-back in LA don't do it tonight <laughs> you know? so like stay in the house um Get on the game, call a couple of teammates, TP, PB, let's play Call of Duty, man. You know what I'm saying? Until you get sleepy. You get sleepy, go to sleep. <laughs> Different routine tonight. <laughs> Coach Finch said they basically just played clips of you guys not rebounding at halftime. Is yeah. that motivating? I mean, yeah, you got Finchie, Finchie in there yelling. I mean, you, that's not him, you know what I'm saying? So when he doing that, be like, oh, we got to tighten up. He banging on the door. We got tight up. Man. We can't have bitch in here acting out of character. So, nah, yeah, we we, we for sure uh, had to find a way to uh, rebound. I mean, I feel like we did a pretty good job in the third quarter at keeping them to one shot. That is pretty rare, right? Like, I can't even picture that. Yeah, nah, it's, it is. Like, that's that's not Finchy. But, I mean, when he do it, then we have to respond in a certain way. And you talked a lot um, the training camp about how much you worked on your jump shot this summer. It seems like, and I don't know if and maybe you could answer this, if it, your step back seems to be creating a lot more space this year. How much is that a product of like adding that to your game versus maybe the attacking the rim is also maybe making them play back a little bit more? It just seems like you're creating a lot more space on that step back. Um, yeah, I feel like the pressure that I put on the rim and like my ISO situations, because I feel like that what teams do a bad job of now, like the first three games, I, you want to go left, you want to go left, you want to go left. Like the last three, four games, I've been going right in every ISO situation. Like, right? so like if you saw the ISO tonight when I got the dunk, Tristan Thompson was forcing me left. It was like he want to go left, and he forced right. I took off right to dunk it. So like, when they forcing me right, they playing back. Like like shoot it or drive right. So like I go right, get a layup. Now they start playing back even more. So that's when I do my step back. Like when they playing back far, I just be like I'm gonna shoot it. Like I ain't got no other choice but to shoot it. <laughs> And you mentioned earlier to Chris about how you thought the team's cutting has been a lot better. Um, you know, do you think that with the way that you've been able to get cap the ball in the mid range, that's really helped open up cutting? And if it, if it isn't that, um, what are some things you guys have worked on that you think offensively has really helped you open up the cutting cuts? I mean, just just uh, getting cap the ball in the mid range, it helps like it helps him uh, operate in tight spaces because if he catches it on three, they can just load up. And it helps us cut better because we can get out of his way and let him go to work. But as far as just cutting in general, like Coach showed a clip, 
earlier this morning, a shoot around of D'Lo, like setting a screen, then setting another screen, back slipping, then going to set another screen. So, like, when you see that, it generates, like, open shots. Like, even, like, watching Steph Curry, like, he plays off the ball all game long and get 40 points every game, you know what I'm saying? Just off screen and screen and cut it. So, I mean, if we just do that, then we'll be a pretty good team. We'll generate the best shots for our, for our uh, teammates. We'll go last question to Chris Sass on Zoom. Hey, Kat, hope you are doing well. Congratulations on the win, first of all. Uh, what do you say about the character of that group? Bounce back after tough losses and uh, be back on the winning road. What did you say about that? What is it bouncing back? Are you bounce back after the loss? Um, I mean, I feel like that's what we're supposed to do. Um, after a tough loss, when did we, when did we play? Uh, Monday. Yeah, Monday. After a tough loss on Monday, I feel like we had to bounce back. Uh, we lost by like three. Uh, we had some careless uh, mistakes. Uh, I mean, we had to. I feel like that's what we get paid to do: come back and take take a L, but come back and get a win. So I mean, yeah, that's it. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam.